You know, as the isolation continues, it's the elderly that are really feeling it sometimes. But as CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports, uh, social media is actually helping seniors with social distancing. I'm learning. I never used Zoom before until all of this happened. Meet 91-year-old Betty Jones. She's seen it all over the years living in New York City, but never like this. For the first time ever, Betty's been forced to stay in and slow down because of COVID-19. My family, uh, who live hither and yon, have all been in touch making sure that I'm not out running around. Seniors are at greatest risk from coronavirus, but these social isolation measures meant to protect them come at a cost. It is true. I have a couple of friends who are very isolated. To help keep connected, the National Aging Institute offers a hotline called the Friendship Line for people 60 and older. So we're going to march. They also host seniors focused Four. online workouts. All kinds of community programs are available virtually, says care coach advisor Maura Horton. Whether that's virtual book clubs or online exercise classes or Zoom dinner parties. Got an eye, 20, Actor Matthew McConaughey eye, posted this video calling bingo numbers for a group of seniors. Even your favorite games can be played virtually. I FaceTimed my own grandmother, <laughs> Hilda, to check in. She's 95. My grandpa Lou is 102. They celebrated their 75th wedding anniversary last week, waving through the window while he's quarantined inside a nursing home. My grandpa was born in 1918 and right in the middle of the flu epidemic. Then came the war, lived through that, got married. <laughs> That's another battle. <laughs> You can overcome anything if you have to. A reminder from our most experienced, <laughs> wisest loved ones. Coronavirus is connecting us in new ways. The human spirit is resilient. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.